Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Uh, first things first, I'll just get this out of the way. Today's video did get blocked. It was Dave Abrazizi playing with Pearl Jam on SNL in 1994, playing Rare View Mirror. And um, yeah, I do make the blocked videos available to my Patreon and buy me a coffee cruise uh, just as a just to say thanks for the support and just to try and give you some sort of extra bonus kind of material. So yeah, I just get that out of the way before I forget to actually get to that, that this video did get blocked. Um, and then if you want to hang with me, I want to share a story about my day. So it's 7.49 PM here on a Sunday in Auckland, New Zealand. And my day started at 10.30 and I got to work. I was so excited about this damn video. <laughs> this was not a Patreon uh, Discord thing or a PayPal request. It was just, um, it was my request, my request to myself. And it was a video because a lot of you have asked, you know, what do you like? What what did you listen to um, coming up? You, and uh, it was this kind of stuff. And so I was just so excited to show you and hopefully a lot of you hadn't seen this clip which was just such a special clip to me and my friends and all the other musicians plenty of musicians I know this was a really standout drum clip Dave Abrazizi just ripping it up on fire on SNL and I really went to town on this video as I say started at 10 30 this morning recording and editing and um, yeah, just so excited to share it and, uh, was really happy with the way the video turned out. It ended up being a really long one. That's what she said. And over 20 minutes, which is a lot longer than my normal videos. And yeah, I really tried to dig into what it was about that video that was so special to me and try and really portray why that was such an incredible video and for you know s seemingly superficially not complicated or fast drumming it was just it was something about it's just fire so i really went to town on that and then do the edit put in a few of the gifts that you know you love you know you do love them right <laughs> and the memes and then you get it blocked and ah uh, it's just so disappointed and then just to top it off so it's 7 51 here i finished the upload which got blocked about six o'clock um and i was pretty down about that i actually filmed this video that i'm doing right now i went down to the local park i just needed to get some fresh air and think about what i'm doing with my life um and then i recorded a video to say that the video got blocked just to let you all know um got down to the park and did an, another 20 minute video rant about blocked videos and the lunacy of blocking content and that the recording was i don't know wind was getting in the mic and I, there's no way i could put it out it was inaudible so then i had wasted another like 40 minutes with driving and recording a video so we're here and I'm uh, wondering what I'm doing with my life because <laughs> it's going to be 9, 10 p.m. Uh, it'll be 12 hours of work on a Sunday um, for no video upload, no reaction. And there was no way I was not going to do a video. Like I, the consistency is everything for me. So three videos three reactions a week. That's my thing. And I want to, I know people love it. So I really want to be consistent. And that's something that I learned at music school. If you're going to do something, you do it properly and consistency is everything. So, you know, I'm committed to that. So I was also gutted that the video got blocked for that reason. Um, and yeah, and then I just, I kind of got to thinking as I was walking around the park and making the video about why the video was blocked and how disappointed I was. I started thinking about, you know, Here's a little bit of information for you, uh, just if you're not sure about this kind of thing. If the video had not been blocked, 
all of the money from my video, if, if the video had been allowed on my channel, all of the money f made from that video through ad revenue and whatnot, that all goes to the band or the label or whoever holds the, the rights to that property. So that's the first thing. That all would have gone to them and I'm fine with that. That's the way it is. Um, and that that's fine. So just bear that in mind. And then I just started thinking, you know, what is the job of a record company or of a band? And is not is it not to get exposure <laughs> and money for the artist, uh, to, you know, to, to make a viable career? I mean, so many bands are begging for exposure and uh, needing, obviously, you know, we all need money to survive. I just don't know. I just don't understand this. Rick Beato has made, he's got a great channel. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you know about Rick Beato. He's got a wonderful channel and he's had a few really good rants about this exact thing, about just the lunacy of blocking content. Um, you know, I've heard plenty of uh, musicians talking about how with digital, you know, Pandora's box was opened. That's it's out of the bag now, like content's out there now. And, you know, you still still get artists. Eagles are a big one. Led Zeppelin, I've got a bunch of Led Zeppelin um, songs that got blocked. N not as many as you, you would think. Um, but, yeah, some people are quite, or companies are quite strict on it. And then I started thinking, I've been teaching for 20 plus years, teaching hundreds of, literally hundreds of students over that time. And when I think about it, and I can say this completely honest, honestly with no ill will, I've got nothing against Pearl Jam or the company. It's, it's not like that. It's just, I just don't understand it. But thinking about the teaching side of things, I've never, ever had a student request a Pearl Jam song. Now, I don't know if that's an important statement for you, but I'm not going to, I'll let you read between the lines on that. And, you know, gigging, I've done so many gigs over the years, never really had Pearl Jam requests. And, you know, somebody's intellectual property you can do obviously they can do with that whatever they like um that's absolutely fine there's no no questioning that but i just wonder about legacy and um exposure exposing a new audience to your stuff that could really really love it like i do and i don't know i just don't I don't get it. I I think my three key points um, from this were that to remember that if the video had not been blocked, the money goes to the appropriate person, right? So that they're getting, it's like Spotify, someone hits the link on Spotify. Hopefully <laughs> they, get a, they get some money, right? The, per, the right person gets the money. Fine. And then, so you take that away, you don't allow that, but then you're also stopping. So I've, I feel like I've got a lot of subscribers. It's a lot to me, close to 70,000. So you're missing all of that audience. And I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would be completely open and honest and uh, let you know what is going on with today's video because I'm committed, as I say, committed to keeping up with my schedule and providing you guys with hopefully a lot of passion. And hopefully that really comes through. <laughs> Where's the camera? Hopefully that really comes through that, you know, gen genuinely passionate about the topic at hand. And boy, this video is something. Dave Abrazizi, something about the performance was just absolute fire. And I just, really attempted to capture that and explain to you why it was so special 
And yeah, here I am. It's now coming up eight o'clock, eight p.m. Starting at ten, ten ten thirty this morning. Eating my uh, cereal, getting started on the video, and um, yeah, we've got nothing after the whole day. So yeah, absolutely gutting. And um, yeah, I'll come back to what I said at the start. If you do want to support the channel and get access to the block videos. Um, Patreon and buy me a coffee links are all good for that. In fact, I can tell you right now what videos did get blocked. So here we go. This was in no particular order of me actually recording them, but the black hole sun react, that was a reaction and analysis. And I absolutely went in depth, in depth, time signatures, total breakdown. I learned the song note for note. So I absolutely went to town on that. Uh, what else we got? Devin Townsend, Devin Townsend, sorry, Deadhead blocked. And that one was oh, highly emotional, amazing video. Blake Richardson condemned to the gallows blocked, which was strange because the other Blake Richardson ones seemed to get through, which is I'm not sure about that one. Uh, then there's Dave Abrazizi. This today's one, disaster piece drum solo is another one that a lot of people were asking for. Um, blocked. John Bonham, Four Sticks, which I believe was a Patreon request. That one got blocked. In My Time of Dying, here we go with all the Led Zeppelin. In My Time of Dying, Led Zeppelin, uh, J.P. Kalkinen, Perceive the Mendacity. That was a request that got blocked. King Crimson and Discipline Live, Led Zeppelin, Kashmir, 1994 with Michael Lee on drums. Now, I believe that one's available in some... Um, locations, but not in all. Led Zeppelin, how many more times? Denmark Radio 1969 performance. Lemon Song, Led Zeppelin, Leprous Slave. Got blocked. Lorna Shaw to the Hellfire. That was a highly, highly requested video blocked. Uh, Moby Dick 1972 solo blocked. Moby Dick 1973. Out on the Tiles, Led Zeppelin. There's a lot of Led Zeppelin, as you can tell. And there's already a lot of Led Zeppelin in the Led Zeppelin playlist. So, yeah, there's a lot of Led Zeppelin. Thank you, Suzanne Lash, <laughs> for those requests. And, yeah, that's all the blocked videos. So, yep, you can get those access to those by joining up for Patreon or buy me a coffee. If you want, no pressure. So, um, if, you, if you're not fussed on seeing those, uh, that's fine. I don't expect anything in life. I don't expect anything on YouTube. Just letting you know, that's that's one way to access it and to reward people that do want to support me in the channel and keep keep the lights on, so to say. So yeah, it's a bit of a mad, it's quite the day. Um, yeah, I kind of, I think I've blown off a bit of steam when I did my walk around the park, when I did that video, which was, I uh, ended up. I've not been using it here. And um, so I'm a little bit more calm now, but yeah, all that work for um, for a video that I can't show. I have in the past toyed with the idea of doing a reaction. Uh, one of the early ones that got blocked, uh, it was blocked. Um, and then I took out, because I thought, oh, people are here to see my reaction. Right, because of course you can see the original video link uh, for yourself, but you're here to see my reaction, right? So this one got blocked. I'll just cut out the audio, the offending audio um, that's sitting off the, the copyright. I'll just take it out and you can see what I thought of the video. And I've done that a few times and I got absolutely slammed, slammed by... Yeah, by you guys for that. So I'm not doing that anymore. Um, even though I warned people, I said, this video got blocked, but I'm putting up my reaction part of it anyway, just to let you know, there's not going to be any music in this. It's just what I thought of the clip. And I still got slammed. People were saying, hey, where's the music? And I don't know, something about it just didn't, it just didn't work. So I'm not going to go with that idea anymore. Um, I learnt my lesson and yeah, still still get hate mail for some of those, the, the ones where I took out 
the um the actual audio just showed my reaction but um yeah and god knows i'm gonna have to obviously render this video file here upload it and um get to work so i mean i'm gonna be wrapping up here probably just before the actual time of the video which you know i try and do it like clockwork so my videos get released at the same time but yeah it's a strange one you know i as i said the money goes to the the rights holder whether it is the band or the label or, or whoever as i said rick Beato did a really good video on this um he's had a few good rants about the lunacy of blocking videos you need to check those out in fact i should link to it um and it just doesn't make any sense it just doesn't make any sense i guess i'm really rant, I'm, I'm back on my rant horse now is that even a, a rant horse what is a rant horse but you know i could understand if someone if, if i was trying to be funny and i started slamming the artist and you know making fun of them and derogatory comments and saying how bad the drumming was sure yeah yeah i could i could get that you know it's not helping their cause to again get exposure and create a living and and get their get their dues for their material but this was glowing you know this was glowing and it was my pick so yeah it's just very very disappointing so yeah sorry to be a debbie downer today you know we will build a bridge and get over it tomorrow's another day i feel like i'm going to burst into a disney song now but yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things. I really do appreciate your support on the channel. The, the channel has gotten to levels now that I could never have dreamed of. How many subscribers are we up to? I mean, I know there are channels around with, obviously there's more channels with more subscribers than me. But man, I'm just a little drummer boy from Auckland, New Zealand. 68.9 thousand subscribers? Come on. 68.9 <laughs> well you know what happened when we hit 66.6 so question what's going to happen when we hit 69 mm. I'll let you guys fight about that one but yeah thank you so much for the support and um yeah you guys make it all worthwhile when something this crap happens and you've wasted you know, a whole day of your life. <laughs> um, live and learn. And these these things, you just take them on the chin and you, you don't know until you do the upload. And it's, you know, it's interesting because, I don't know, this video is never going to end, is it? We're already at 18 minutes, 30. But, like, just to pull back the curtain a little bit, I get flooded with... Um, messages from bands and from managers um asking you know can we can our band can you feature our band on the channel and you know these guys are really hungry and the manager's trying to do their job and i really respect that and they're trying to get exposure for their group and um i would love to do that kind of thing it's not really the brief of the channel <laughs> but uh, you know i'm always happy to help someone out in music you know any way I can I just can't do them all there's literally that many I hope I'm not sounding like a, a big shot here it's just the way it is uh, I actually went through on my Instagram and answered a whole whole bunch of messages that I hadn't got around to and a lot that I hadn't even seen and just explain look I can't I literally physically cannot do them all uh, I might get two three hundred requests in the comments and emails and Instagram messages a day clearly not going to be able to do all those um but it's very very flattering and um yeah it's just I've, and on top of that uh, a lot of drummers commenting on the videos which is blows me away and saying thank you for your fun uh video that you made of me uh bands and artists yeah, paul seidel sugarfoot matt mcguire so many people nandy yoyoka all commenting saying thank you thank you thank you thank you for uh doing the video and um having a really good chat with some of them and yeah i just 
I don't know. I don't understand it. Why would you restrict your audience? And, you know, I always go to pains to, to say OG video link in the description. Um, you know, check it out and send them off to that link. And, um, <clears throat> I mean, one of the things that makes me so, so happy, probably the thing that makes me the happiest on this channel is when someone comments on a video um, and they say, I did not know about this band. You got me onto them and I went and um, bought all their music. That is what it's all about. And that is the thing that probably is the ultimate compliment that I've turned you onto something just like you turned me onto stuff. And then I've turned you onto something and you've gone out and you've ended up supporting that artist. You've bought their music. Um, so again, the lunacy of blocking. Oh, well, that's um, that's life. That's the way it is. If you've made it to the end, 21 minutes 40. My God. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in a very funny mood at the moment. <laughs> you can probably tell a different tone to normal on the channel. You know, that <laughs> that good old... <laughs> A good old Andrew Rooney with his gifts and memes. Yeah, I was pretty dark. I was pretty dark when this one got blocked because I really wanted to share it. Just crazy, insane video that I love so much. Um, but yeah, that's life. We move on. Guys, thank you for sticking in there. Blocked videos available to the patrons and buy me a coffee. Um, thank you all for the support. And if you've made it to this point of this video, you deserve a medal. But um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. And until then, ciao.